Hello everybody, you are listening to Alfred's American News Updates. Alfred's American News Updates is brought to you by the company Alfred & Friends. To find out more about how you can invest in any one of the subsidiary companies of Alfred & Friends or to check out our numerous products and services, simply go to alfredandfriends.com. There is something there for everybody. For this update, I'd like to talk about mailing voting in California. Now, there has been several accusations of voter fraud and voter suppression from both Democrats and also Republicans in different other states of America, in California as well, previously, you know. Now, there are concerns about all of this rising again. And, you know, the governor, you know, of California has decided that they are going to do mail-in voting, you know, and they have sent ballots to um, California residents, you know, that they will mail in their votes and all of that. It is unfortunate and very primitive. In this day and age of cell phones and apps, you mean to tell me that America, the government as a whole, cannot come up with an app in which people can vote on an app. You know, you register, and in the registration process, you put in all your details. You know, you can use your smartphone to take your picture. You know, there are so many things that can be done that will make it very secure. And you know that it is the identity of the social and so person that is voting. You know, it is actually more efficient that way. You know, it is actually much more better that way. All this mail, in this day and age, you want to be sending voter information via snail mail. And think about the madness of this. And this is um, in the name of um, lockdown this and lockdown that. Let us prevent um, issues, you know, from people contacting COVID-19 and all of that when they go out. This is madness. You know, I am not even, I am clearly not for people going out to vote, not for the reason of, because of the coronavirus, but because of the fact that we all have cell phones. It's actually much more better, much more safer. You know, as long as the company behind the creation of the app, you know, is honest and we can be sure of it. So it can't be a Facebook, a Microsoft, or a Google. You know, but the government itself, don't they have any situation where they have a government company or something that is reliable, that it can be trusted, and then people go online and vote? This is not just for America, but other parts of the world. I think it is crazy, you know, for people to be expected to leave their houses and go somewhere and stand in line for hours and then vote. More people will vote if voting is done via their cell phone. Even if it means you can, you have to add a video, you know, post a video for to verify your identity and all of that. You can do that. You know, there are a lot of situations where even when it comes to um, certain countries like um, Nigeria, they have BVN registration and, um, you know, SIM card registration where... It is via a computer, you know, they take the person's photo and the, and the person's details are filled in, you know, by the person and all of that. So they get records of the people and all kinds of things. So if a place like Nigeria, you know, can have that kind of technology and do that, you know, unfortunately, Nigeria does not do anything in that direction when it comes to voting. And it really should. You know, and also when it comes to policies because people should have their take on policies and people should actually speak on the laws that are being passed they should have their take because you know when people go into office into government's offices and different positions you know let's say they get into the senate the laws that they pass the activities that they go in does not reflect the people because there's no communication you know how do you reach out to your congressman and have him respond, have what you want make sense. 
be done or have a voice or even echo through the house of sinners. It is not done. There is no provision for that in different parts of the world. But this can be made possible via the technology we have now via the internet, you know, websites and apps can have such futures. And this should be done, you know, so that it will empower the people. If you are really interested in empowering the people, you have to move all these things to the tech, to the smartphones that they are always carrying around in their hands, that they are always using to communicate and reach out to people. That is what it should be. People should vote from their phones. You know, there, sh there should be apps that should be created and all of this needs to be done, you know, and it will lead to other things um, being made possible, like certain other um, things that relate to the local government. The person will have access to through such apps, you know, like, for example, certain announcements, if there's a curfew, sometimes there's a curfew in a city. How do you know if you do not listen to the radio or you do not go to certain websites? You know, you will end up violating the coffee and having to pay for it just because you exercise your right and your freedom of not listening to radio or whatever. And even if you listen to the radio or go to the website, what if that update or that announcement comes when you are not there or you are not listening? You know, so all these things um, are things that should be considered in, in such apps because they are setting kinds of communications and messages that should flow both ways from the people to the government and from the government to the people that is exclusive to certain people based on the status of their relationship with the governments whether they are in one city or they are from one particular town or not the messages should be different there are certain things that should be communicated and it is unfortunate that in a day and time that we live in now with all the apps that we have people want to resort to snail mail so that is not the best and snail mail you know also brings up the ease of you know stealing votes you know there, there are a lot of things that could happen you know but you know that is not the point the world should move forward to creating apps and letting the voting be done via apps. So that is it for this broadcast. If you are listening to this broadcast and you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, I'd like you to go to alfredandfriends.com and click on the salvation prayer link in the main menu. When you do that, the page will come out that has a prayer of salvation. Say that prayer and give your life to Jesus Christ. So that is it for today. Thank you and God bless you.